Uh, my name's Kim Crow. I come from Australia um, and I'll be rowing in the women's double skull. I got involved in rowing by chance. I was a hurdler um, and got injured and one of the only rehabilitation exercises I could do was on the ergo. Um, a couple of the rowing coaches suggested I come down and have a go. Um, I just liked the, I liked the people, I liked the atmosphere, I liked the camaraderie and um, faced with the prospect that I'd never be able to run again, it seemed like a good idea and really haven't looked back since. I think um, you'll be hard pressed to find anyone here who doesn't love to race. It's just, it's that opportunity you get to sit on a start line and know that you can win it's like the whole world is your oyster you've put all this hard work into it and it's just that moment where you can really see what you're made of and um, it's just that challenge of getting absolutely everything out of yourself that is so satisfying I think I have raced in every category over the years. Um, I started off in the women's eight. Um, that was the um, that was the boat that was going when I first got selected, and from there uh, moved into the women's pair. I think I really enjoyed the dynamic of a smaller crew and having a little bit more control over over the outcome. Um, from there. Rowing Australia prioritised the sculling program, um, so I moved across to sculling, um, rode the double skull and the quad skull, um, have at times ended up in the single skull because my doubles partners over the years um, have got injured. But when it really comes down to it, it's all the same. You want to get that boat over the finish line first and you do that by feeling for the run of the boat and moving with the boat and really staying on top of it. So whether it be single, double, quad, pair or eight, it's all, um, it all is part of the same sport. I've, so I've got a new doubles partner this year, Brooke Prattley. Um, she's an absolute gun. She's <laughs> the most physically phenomenal athlete. She brings just this phenomenal rhythm um, that... To sit in behind is something really special. Um, she's a great racer. She's a great person to train with. Um, has exceptional boat feel. It's um, it's pretty exciting. We're a very new combination. We've actually only been um, rowing together for a couple of weeks now. It's often hard to say where that will place us, but I've never been one to restrict my expectations based on other crews. Um, you know how they race is up to them and how we race is up to us and if we get our boat going as fast as possible then you know I, I like to hope that the world's our oyster. I think the Olympics is just something that is special anyway and it's something that's special to anyone who has a love of, of, a, of an amateur type sport um, but in rowing it's particularly special because it is that one race every four years where I mean you talk about pressure and you talk about you know big stage performing but it's just the ultimate chance to see what am I made of? And that's why we do this. Um, so it's, it's something that gives you tingles. It's something that gets you excited. It's something that gives you that um, just want every single stroke of every single session to get it as perfect as possible so you're in the best place come Olympic finals day. Um, so it's a, it's a great opportunity and it's a great feeling. When you do race, you're in such a bubble and you're in such a, a special world and a special place that you could be anywhere. You could be on the moon and you wouldn't know the difference. Um, so yes, it's the Olympics and yes, it's in London and, and yes, there's a great rivalry that's been built up between um, Great Britain and Australia over the years and that's fantastic it brings it brings some extra meaning and some context to tell a story into our sport um, but it doesn't change our job to get our boat from the to the finish line as quickly as possible I was actually thinking about it the other day how lucky we are to be part of a sport where we travel to the most beautiful parts of the world and it's like traveling the world according to the most amazing lakes because that's where we race we never want to take that for granted because this is a a beautiful sport and a beautiful opportunity whether you're doing it at the top level or just doing it because you love um, rowing across the water and we do need to look after it.